Welcome, this is Razor Flame Quinn, and welcome to part four of the surface tour of my extended world tour. I've already shown you to the right to right of this um, to the right of uh, this sort of safe haven that I have that I've built here. But I'm gonna go over here just to show you uh, to remind you guys about the cave that I've actually been exploring a lot since the last time um, I showed you the world tour. Anyways, it's not here, it's right here. This is the entrance to the other cave that I was, uh, that I will uh, show you in the next, in the next uh, parts of the video. Anyways, in order to get over here, I killed myself, so I'm very low on mana. I have no mana, and I had to, and I lost a bunch of uh, health because I killed myself through falling damage. Anyways, I don't, I usually don't do that. Uh, I only did it this time to, because it was, I was all the way on the right hand side of the map, and I had to get all the way over to the to the left hand side of the map. This is the left hand side of the map. Anyways, this is the corruption that I planted uh, quite a while ago. And I'll show you how far it's gone. It's expand, it's gone, it's, it's um, spread. That's the word I was looking for, spread. Anyways, it's uh, spread about, I'd say maybe a thousand 1500 feet so about about a, four, a quarter of a mile anyways originally I had it stop here let me just summon the uh, orb of light so you guys can see anyways I had it stop here originally and then I extended it And I had it stop here, and then I extended it further across this, built a little bridge there, and then I had it stop here for a bit, and then I extended it even more. And in case you don't know, those these, uh, these purple things here, they hurt you. Especially if you're not wearing armor. Since I'm wearing the molten armor, which has some the best defense in the game, I think. That's why you'll I'm you'll see it only giving it you see it only giving me one damage. And in fact, most enemies only give me one damage. And here's where I have the corruption stop. Anyways, I I did that just for fun to see uh, experiment to see what it was like and. Now we're getting into the now we're getting into the parts of the map that you haven't seen yet. Okay, this is where meteorite four out of six landed right here. I got all the meteorite four from there, and right here I think is where five meteorite five no no uh, meteorite five out of six was actually even further over this way to the left. Which, so we're gonna ah, here it is. Meteorite five out of six was nope. Meteorite five out of six was back there. This is uh all of this used to be sand, and I got all of it to basically get make bottles. Anyways, we get through this desert area, and then we get into this little water here, and eventually we get into a series of three. A series of three corruption areas. Here's the first of three. And I'm just going to skip over all the chasms because I've already been down all of them. This is this is a little workstation that I made in the middle of the uh, corruption because I was getting attacked by Eater of Souls and I was, or Eater of Worlds, and I was needing space in my inventory so I went and made a bunch of chests there and uh, furnace and other things so I could smelt a demonite ore that they that the eater of worlds gave me and so that I can just you know 
make uh, potions and stuff. Anyways, we go over this hill, and we drop onto this fridge that was actually already made. Um, it was already made when I first started this map. So we continue to the left here, and we eventually get to the end of the first area of production, only to go into another area pretty quickly. Yeah, this 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 corruption is actually pretty big. Ah, uh, here's the second area of corruption, and we continue off to the left, avoiding the devourer and the eater of souls, which are no threat to me now. You may notice these little um. These torches on the at the tops of the chasms here, that's just a little uh, helpful reminder for me so that I know which ones, which chasms I've been down and which ones I haven't. All the ones without torches have already been down. Anyways, we get through that, and then we get into this nice area of no corruption, and then we continue to the left, and we eventually call and star. We eventually hit another area of corruption later, um, just over here. We hit some sunflowers, which is pretty nice. Oh yeah, and then we hit, this is being right 6 out of 6. And these meteor, right he these, these meteor heads are kind of annoying, but I don't really need any of the meteor, the meteorite ore any any longer because I have better stuff. I'm just gonna kill these meteorite heads because otherwise they'll keep on coming after me. So I'm gonna keep, kill them really quick. Good. Okay, there are, those are all dead. Now we, this is the third area of corruption, and eventually we come. To, I'll show you what. I'll show you the end of the map, which should be just kind of um, up here. It's up here, and then we continue uh, more to the left. This is where I fought Eater of the Worlds a couple times. That's why that chasm was blocked off there. Um, anyways, we go down here. And as I said, this corruption is actually fairly big. I'm going to respawn the light. The orb of light so that you guys can see. And here we are, we're at the end of the corruption here. And then we get we should be getting to a sandy beach. Sandy beach pretty soon. Anyways. Anyways, this has been Razor Flood Kun in part four of the extended world tour. I hope you've liked this. If you liked this, please give this a like. Or And if you really liked it, please favorite it. And if you want to see more videos by me, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I hope all of your days burn brightly.